No, it'll never happen to me. I'm just too busy to go. Oh, it's embarrassing. Oh, pull your head in. If you've had sex just once, and even if you're only with the one partner, and even if you've had the HPV vaccine, you need a cervical screening test every five years from the age of 25 until you're 74. Oh, a lot of women spend a lot of time in front of the mirror looking good. But there's no use really in jazzing up your outsides, is there? If something's not quite right on the inside, you don't need to have a family history to get cervical cancer, and you could have it without knowing. So that's why you have to check on the inside. A cervical screening test is a little bit of discomfort for a whole lot of comfort. I got my cervical screening test done this morning. It only took about 10 minutes. I'm so glad it's only once every five years. It just makes it so easy. It's important because you want to be healthy and you want to be around for a long time. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but I want to check because you really never know. It's just something I do. It only takes a few minutes, it's no big deal. It would be just silly not to. No use worrying when there's something you can do about it. This is less painful than a bikini wax. Cervical screening is an important part of being a healthy woman. Cervical cancer is one of the most common cancers in women around the world. However, it's also one of the most preventable. Over 99% of cervical cancers are caused by the infection human papillomavirus, HPV. Usually with HPV, you don't have any symptoms, and it usually goes away by itself. But when it doesn't, it can cause cancer. The cervical screening test, which replaces the pap test, is a better test because it looks for the infection that sometimes causes cancer to develop. It also means you now only need to be tested every five years, which is good all round. All women from the age of 25 who've ever been sexually active, even if they've only had one partner, should get a cervical screening test. If you've had the HPV or cervical cancer vaccine, you still need to have cervical screening tests. The vaccine protects against the main types of HPV that cause cervical cancer, but not all of them. So you still have a small chance of getting HPV and developing cervical cancer. Doctors do these tests all the time. Cervical screening tests are a normal part of the work we do to keep women healthy. We're used to it. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. And getting a cervical screening test is one of the most important things you can do to stay healthy. I make sure I have mine every five years. So, what do we know? A cervical screening test can save your life because it looks for the infection that can cause cervical cancer. Okay. Is there anything else? Don't be embarrassed. Next time you're at the doctor's, just ask for a cervical screening test. Remember, the doctors do this all the time because it's their job. They aren't worried about looking down your private parts. Get yourself a female doctor or a nurse if you're worried. You can also request an interpreter or take a friend or family member with you. The doctor will explain the procedure. The doctor may ask you some questions. You can choose if you want your family member in the room with you. Then the doctor or nurse will ask you to remove your underwear and lay down on the bed. You need to bend your knees, put your feet together, and then with all this happening, you need to relax. The procedure can be stopped at any time if it's too uncomfortable, but remember this will only take a few minutes. The doctor will need to take a sample of cells from your cervix to send away to be tested. The results will be ready in two weeks. A small number of women will have to do further tests, but for most women, you wouldn't have to worry about it for another five years. A few minutes, a little bit of discomfort for a lot of comfort. Instead of booking a hairdresser, book a cervical screening test and take care of your insides. You want to get as old as me, don't you? <laughs> Book your cervical screening test with your doctor or nurse, or for more information, visit www.cancerinstitute.org.au forward slash cervical.